Hey folks, welcome to Wednesday the 23rd of March 2022 and we have an update on 88 Energy. They have reached total depth on the rig, on the appraisal well uh, in Alaska. So uh, this is on the Merlin 2 and um, what we've seen is a um, bit, bit of a negative reaction from uh, Australia here from the ASX and just sent me ASX. Um, uh, here we're going uh, getting at that we were down ten uh, percent yesterday. Uh, currently, you know, in ASX has finished. Um, just get this, yeah, on uh, OTC uh, markets. Uh, it's up, it's up two point six eight percent in Australia um, at the moment. But yesterday it was down ten percent, right? And so a lot of um, a lot of people are going to be thinking, well, hold on a second, what? Why the hell are we down here ten percent when this thing has reached total depth? everything's looking rosy in the garden and really um you know to uh, explain this a little bit more we can kind of jump over onto um onto onto our uh onto our our, our, our well essentially what we have here is the ASX right now but um here is uh, the market I'm just going to get my camera uh, up at some point here and it is not getting up on the camera don't mind that uh, let's just simply uh, keep looking at this uh, website here and um, for 88 energy right striking oil um, ahead of schedule okay so what you're going to see uh, with this right is is essentially um, you know it's kind of like it's priced in to the market right that that the market that you know that um the the company has some positive news it's reached total vertical depth but that's not really an amazing achievement right to to get down to total vertical depth um for this operation what we really want to to be talking about here is essentially um the the wire logging uh, or flow testing to be done and that's the really big event right so let's kind of just have a look at the share price here, right? Just find my mouse and get back to the charts here. And so we can see here's ADA Energy right on the daily. So we can probably, let's let's go to like uh, 10 days, 30 minutes, okay? And um, you see in yesterday, I, I think maybe it was in London, uh, we were down 10%. Kurt, could you uh, fill me in on which market we were down 10% on? Um, but essentially, we need to wait here until we get, um, you know, until we get the flow testing, right? Uh, before this thing really starts to get juicy and pick up, right? So we're going to, you know, here is uh, the market on total, uh, total uh, view. And I think we're still on logarithmic here. Uh, let's check. Yeah, we are. And logarithmic is really the best way to observe um, the market movements on this thing um let's just get like 50 bars on the side there so logarithmic scale really allows you to see kind of where we are relative to prior pricing right relative so the scale here on the right is not linear okay it's logarithmically scaled and you can see this accumulation floor here i'm just going to maybe change that color just to make it a little more obvious um we'll make it yeah look like uh, this yellow, right? Like it's super big. All right, so the accumulation floor here, you can see it's still holding up, right? And uh, I mean, we're trading 0.307s on uh, the OTC right now um, on the US listing. So um, I, I think this is really, really strong and good. I mean, you know, talk of there being a pullback. Um, this is kind of like, you know, Apple, take Apple, for example, predicted to have say it's predicted to have a really strong quarter and results coming out like friday and we get to friday amazing results come across the boards and we sell down well why does that happen right why does that happen it happens because it's priced in all right because people are buying and driving that market up pre the data okay so when it comes to the data and the confirmation of that data people are then taking profits into that and they're selling into 
the dumb money who's come rushing in to buy on the back of the good earnings. And so that's why with most of these company announcements um, of good earnings, especially the big caps, um, you get that effect of really good earnings markets down on the day because essentially smarter traders are selling and taking profits into the liquidity provided by slower and for want of a better term dumb money coming in to buy on the good announcement okay uh you know think of warren buffett's advice you know you you should buy when there's blood in the streets you know when when things are really selling down hard that's when you want to be a buyer you don't want to be a buyer into all-time highs you never want to do that you know um <laughs> unless it's like unless it's lumber six months ago right but here we are anyway, I'll take my mobile off the screen so we can kind of see it a bit better here. And so, uh, yeah, we're still holding a, a well above the accumulation floor here. And I think this is strong. So once over the next probably week to two weeks and we start to get some flow testing where they've, um, you know, cemented in uh, the entire hole um, and they can really get some well stability going on. Um, that's when we're really going to get into, you know, crazy prices here and higher inflections. It's a good sign that um, on the on these sort of good news announcements that we're not we're not selling down really that much at all here. Right. Because um, that leads me to believe that, you know, it's just it, it, we're starting to appreciate some value here. We're starting to build up some real value in this sort of range from, I would say, from 0251s up to twos here right uh or sorry is that two no sorry that's uh sorry that's a mistype uh the 0396 so that's sort of from the 0251s up to the 0396s uh i don't really see any fundamental reason to be selling this thing at all and uh you know it's just the name of the game here is uh long and holding so look, I've done a I've done an analysis in other videos where we talked about further, you know, uh, what are the upside targets, um, you know, that's that's a different video and uh, not really the purpose of this. But I just want to just wanted to check in with uh, with the community of eighty eight energy watchers and uh, really just you know check in. The accumulation floor for me is holding quite well, uh, really since January eighteenth uh, here, push above and hold um you know and then uh yeah let's let's hold the line i i think the next two weeks is going to be really juicy really interesting on 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 this company and um you know once they start to talk about what are the proven recoverables that they can look at um you know then we're, we're going to start to really price in some some of the a lot well a lot of the figures that have been talked about over you know the last year pretty much all right so listen uh, any questions or queries you can email me at tim at duggancapital.com uh, i know some of you have and it's been uh, fantastic to chat with you uh, so um yeah look stay safe out there it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks and um yeah let's see what we can do all right take care cheers